हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अवर मैथ्स क्लास इन अवर दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टार्ट विथ अ न्यू यूनिट दैट इज यूनिट इलेवन एरिया एंड इट्स बाउंड्री फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल स्टूडेंट्स वी विल लर्न अबाउट वॉट डू यू मीन बाई एरिया एंड वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द बाउंड्री we have always this uh, before also we have discussed about area and boundary and now in this unit we will all further discussed about the some of the sums which are related to the area and its boundary so let's see first of all what do you mean by area and boundary so open your textbook and your notebook students this i have drawn a square in the square first of all we know that a square has four sides and all the four sides of a square is same if i measure the square the length of a square here is 3 cm so all its sides will also be 3 cm this is the length it is 3 cm now first of all we will learn about the area let's learn about area first area what do you mean by area the area is a space occupied by a flat shape or surface of an object is called the area means in simple language if we see area means students the place occupied by an shape means this is a square and how much space is this square shape has occupied on this surface the place occupied is called the area here the length is 3 cm so all the sides will be 3 cm and 3 cm if we want to find out the area of this then we have supposed to find out okay, what space is occupied by this object so before starting this students we will first of all write down the definition of the area so students in your notebook you are supposed to draw the square of 3 cm and you are supposed to write down the definition of area as i am writing here area the space occupied by a flat shape or surface of an object is called area area okay so what is area students the shape occupied by a flat shape or surface of an object is called area students this we have studied before also to what is area but in our previous units for unit number 3 we have also learned that the area is been always shown in squares in square centimeter in square meter so in square kilometers we have seen that so what do you mean by that square once again i will explain to you students if we uh, separate this square into some of the lines into if you cut 3 cm it is so every 1 cm if we draw a line i will show you how to draw the line like this i have drawn the lines here you can see that the 3 cm is the length and 3 cm is the breadth so when we say 3 cm if we count 1 2 3 
थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट एंड नाइन सो द एरिया ऑफ दिस सर्कल इज नाइन हाउ मेनी स्क्वायर्स आर द वन टू नाइन स्क्वायर्स आर इज एंटेड सो इट इज नाइन स्क्वायर सेंटीमीटर बिकॉज ईच स्क्वायर इज ऑफ वन सेंटीमीटर सो स्टूडेंट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट द एरिया ऑफ एनी सब्सटेंस वी कैन सी दैट हाउ मेनी स्क्वायर्स ऑफ वन सेंटीमीटर और वन मीटर वॉट आर द स्टैंडर्ड यूनिट इज दैट द स्क्वायर्स ऑफ दैट यूज टू बी प्लेस हियर सो वी कैन गेट टू नो अबाउट के हाउ मेनी स्क्वायर्स हैज बीन ऑक्यूपाइड दिस सर्फेस सो वी विल नो अबाउट इट्स एरिया हियर द एरिया इज ऑफ थ्री सेंटीमीटर द लेंथ इज ऑफ सिक्स सेंटीमीटर एंड ब्रेथ इज ऑफ सिक्स सेंटीमीटर सो we if we see that then we counted the squares then there are total 9 squares are there so the area of this square is 9 square centimeter if we want to find out the area directly with the help directly then there is a formula for that what is the formula for finding out the area of a square i will explain you that area of square is equals to as we know that there are all the sides are equal so we will see the length length into length this is the length and this is also all the equal so we will store length into length or we can also write the length into breadth also so length into length the length here is this is the formula the area of a square whenever you want to find out the formula uh, area of a square object or square surface then you are supposed to use this formula l into l now according for this square we have seen the length is 3 cm so area of this square i will write down is equals to length into length we will see Length is three centimeters, so three into three, so three threes are nine, nine. Okay, now it is centimeters. So whenever we are finding out the area of a surface, you are a square or any surface area, we will always write down it is as a square. For short form of square, we will use S Q. Nine square centimeter is the area of this square. Isn't it strange? Now you can all, again you can tell the Answer. It is also nine square and it is also nine square. So directly, if you want to do, we can use this formula, or you can multiply the length into the breadth, length and length, and then we can directly get the answer, isn't it? So this is how we have find out the area of a square. This is by using counting the squares, and this is by using the formula. Understood, students? This also you are supposed to write down in your notebook. Now, students, let's. learn about what do you mean by the word boundary so boundary means what boundary means the sides of any substance the word which we have learned in the maths about the boundary that is we can tell as it is a perimeter now perimeter means the sides if you want to calculate the sides of any object how what is the length of the sides of an object then we are uh, dealing with the boundary of any object boundary is the about the sides the total sides of the object now for this in maths we use the term as perimeter now we'll learn about what do you mean by perimeter for this square perimeter before we start with perimeter one more definition is there about the area which we are using for the squares that also you can write it down this one more is that that also we will write down it is also related to the area only this definition is related to how to calculate the about the squares the area of a figure figure or shape shape or we can write the object also is the number is the number of unit 
square that covers the surface of a closed figure. Isn't it? So the area of a figure or a shape is the number of unit squares. Unit here was centimeter. The number of one centimeter, one centimeter squares are there. If we count about this square, it is one centimeter length and one centimeter breadth. So the square. So area of a figure or shape is the number of unit squares that cover the shape of a closed figure. Number of unit squares that cover the shape of the figure. That is the area which we got as 9 square centimeter for this square. Understood students? Now we write down the definition of the perimeter. Okay, what do you mean by perimeter? Perimeter. Perimeter means the definition is the perimeter the sum of all the sides of a figure is called perimeter the sum of all the sides of a figure or shape we can write or an object is called perimeter if you want to find out the perimeter of this square then what you will suppose to tell you will have to sum add sum means add the measurement of the boundaries of its sides so it is 3 cm, this is 3 cm, this is 3 cm and this is 3 cm. If we add this all then we can find out the answer of perimeter. Perimeter means the sum of its all sides will be boundary. So if you want to find out the perimeter we can see that perimeter is equals to the formula here is, is equals to if you see sum of all sides isn't it perimeter is equal to sum of all the sides for there is a formula for finding out the perimeter of a square because we know that the square has four sides so it is fixed so perimeter of square is having a formula so it is 4 multiplied by l the perimeter of a square is 4 multiplied by l if I want to find out the perimeter of this square, then it will be, what is the side of the square? 3, isn't it? So, 4 multiplied by 3. So 4 threes are how much? 12. So, the perimeter of this square is 12 centimeter. Is it all? Why we are using the 4L students? I would explain you like that also. 4L. How many sides are there in the square? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we have taken 4. If we are directly adding this, then it will be 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. So, 3 is how many times? 4 times. When the addition is the repeated, uh, multiplication is repeated addition. That only we have done here. So, how many times 4 is there? 3 is there. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, 4 multiplied by length. So, 4, 3, 4, 3 is the 12. So, 12 centimeter is the perimeter of this square isn't it students so this i had explained you about the area and perimeter of the square first of all we have written the definition of area and then the definition of boundary this all the things students you are supposed to write down in your notebook as i have written 
first of all draw the square then write down the definitions and then solve the area of this square and then find out the parameter of this square understood students